Hey, what is up everybody? Just doing a follow-up video, my previous video that I had uh, earlier. If you haven't seen my video, go ahead and go to my channel and check it out. I showed a review of the old PC that I was restoring and actually just playing around, wanted to see if OS X will run in it and it did. I was able to get the latest El Capitan on it and as you can see right now, I am running the latest Mac OS Sierra and this is what I'm going to do in this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get that running. So the first thing you want to do is as always make sure you have your install image down inside your applications folder and then you want to download this app install this creator now this is actually for even your regular mac os x uh, machine for macbooks or imacs any mac device you could actually use this utility to back up your installation image and use it just in case your ssd breaks and you have to replace the ssd you could use this utility to create a bootable installation image so the first thing you got to do is select your destination where you want to put the installer and of course we want to select our usb you don't want to install this in your root device or your boot device because it will destroy whatever os you're using so make sure you choose the usb it automatically detects what OS X or what OS system is in your applications folder and the only one I have right now is that Mac OS Sierra so it detected it and it's selected so all we gotta do is hit create installer now once you do that as put in your password and the reason while this is taking the time preparing the install this I want to talk about why I'm showing you how to use this as opposed to the Unibis, that's, that's the one most of the people are using in the OSX uh, community. And the reason why I like install this creator, first of all, because it's legit, it really is optimized for your OS installer. But the other thing I like it is that I actually have a higher percentage of success using this method rather than the Unibis. When I was trying to use the Unibis method, I wasn't able to get my Acer Expire to boot up to the USB. But using this method, I was able to get it working using Clover to prepare the boot manager. And that's it. So that's all you got to do. So I'm going to come back once this installer is ready. So we're going to fast forward to the end of this. All right, once the installer is finished, it's gonna close and you can go ahead and close it out. And you will have your USB ready here with an install Mac OS Sierra image inside the folder. And then what we need to do is we need to now prepare it so that it could be bootable in a compatible PC. So we're going to need the software Clover. So make sure you download the latest Clover as of now, I believe is the version uh, 4184, the 4184 version. And there's only three things that you got to make sure you check on the installer is make sure, first of all, you are installing in your USB stick customize and make sure that the clover in the esp is selected go to the bootloader and also make sure that is boot zero af in mbr so mbr is very important and your third check that you need is the 64-bit sata that's it those are the most important checks and the theme is optional you could i like the embedded theme for now and that's about it all you gotta do is hit install now as you can tell on our desktop there is a new folder or maybe a new uh, disk image that would appear and that is the EFI and we're gonna open up that later because we're gonna put all the kecks that we need in there so we hit close and now go over to your Kex files here it is for clover and these are the only two most important you need that is a null cpu power management and the fake smc so you're going to right click copy these files over to your efi boot this go to efi clover and then go down to kex 
and you're gonna po paste them in order as you can see I already have them installed so it's not needed and that's about it we are ready to go but before we do before we reboot we want to get all the utility things that we might need post installation so I got all these things that I usually use after installing and that is getting my Nvidia up and running using multibees to get some of the motherboard uh, things working properly and all the utilities that I use for in my Mac OS environment so I just made a folder for Sierra and all you gotta do is just copy those Sierra files go to your install Mac Sierra image not the EFI here and you could post it paste them anywhere here and it should be fine and once this is pasted you could start the installation process all right there we go we're all set to go now all we gotta do is reboot the machine and we'll see you outside in my camera i'm gonna have to use the camera to show you the rest of this installation process so let's go ahead and shut down and reboot all right, so go ahead and boot to your USB drive that you prepared with Clover. And we gotta, once it boots up, we wanna set up some things before we get started. So go ahead and go to the options down below. And let's put in verbose mode. We wanna disable NVIDIA driver. So hit disable. NVIDIA drivers equals one and graphics injector is on so for my specific car I got a GTX 560 Ti and I will inject the NVIDIA car so you gotta double check 20 Mac O X 86 website and check for your specific hardware what kind of boot arguments you will need to get the installation process going so let's go ahead and go with those basic settings and go into the install and see if we can get it going. So you wait until it crashes or until the installation process begins. So just hang on tight. If it does crash, you want to be alert to what was the last thing that was written on the screen because that could alert you or it will help you uh, troubleshoot any troubles you have in booting up. And there you have it. We are booted into the installation process. So go ahead, pick your language. The first thing you want to do is go to the disk utility and you will want to reformat your main hard drive, which I am not going to do because I do have a fresh install of Mac OS Sierra, but you will want to just erase it and put whatever name you want and quit hit install macOS and just go through the whole installation process now once you finish the installation process it will reboot and you will need your USB uh, installation disk that you created well, actually I'm just gonna stop right here because I already did it I don't have to do it but once the installation finishes here it will reboot and you want to reboot into your Clover and USB sticks so let's just pretend we just finished the installation it's gonna reboot hit your F12 so that you can get to your boot menu and choose your USB with which has the Clover now here is a fresh install Mac OS era but there is no boot loader or boot manager so you can't boot into it so you gotta use your USB now you gotta do is go again to options and boot into the same settings that you had last time and now you can book into Mac OS Sierra to start your installation process
All right, so now that we're back on the desktop, just imagine, pretend that I don't have the effects on, that it's not working, so we need to install the NVIDIA drivers. If we have our installation disk in our computer, we'll be able to open it up and find the folder that we have copied from the original Mac with all the serial files we need. We need to go ahead and copy this into our documents or downloads anywhere you want. I already have it downloaded here. As you can tell, my effects are already on, but I'm gonna show you how to get this machine running smoothly. So once you paste that into your documents folder, so the first thing we wanna do is install Clover. So get the, to the latest version of Clover again. And the same thing as we did before, we're gonna repeat a lot of the steps we did at the beginning. We're gonna hit continue and we're gonna install, but this time into the actual boot drive and that is the Mac OS Sierra drive. So you're gonna hit continue and customize and have all the settings that we did before. And as you can tell, my settings are still the same from the last time using it. And even my themes is still selected. I also install the Clover preference just to keep in touch with Clover to make sure I'm updated. You don't have to put it if you don't want to. But anyway, just go ahead and hit install and you are all set to go. You can reboot into your machine, but we, it's gonna still look ugly. So we're gonna fix the NVIDIA graphics right now. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install, go to our NVIDIA GPU fix. And the first thing you want to do is download the latest web drivers that are from NVIDIA. You could go to the website and go ahead and download the latest driver. And mine is already outdated, look at that. So we're gonna have to go to the Tony Max and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that right now. And since Nvidia is constantly updating the drivers, usually you might see it on the sidebar here or on the main menu as you can see here. So people are constantly there, they are the new Nvidia release drivers. So go ahead and head over to Nvidia you want to go directly and get the latest version. And what that's downloading, you want to go ahead and make sure that you do have the latest uh, multi-beast, which in this case, yes, is 9.20. So make sure we have the proper. And again, my multi-beast is already outdated. Look at that. And once you get the latest one, there you go. Now we're ready to install and it's going to let me install this. So hit agree, pick your OS installation area. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it because this is actually newer than the version I have installed right now. Put in your password. And this will restart your computer. So you gotta make sure you have Clover installed first. Let's go ahead and restart and see if it works. So make sure you did the Clover, then install the NVIDIA. All right, guys, now that we got our NVIDIA installed, we need to enable the web drivers. For, again, for my specific GPU, I needed the web drivers to work because I had trouble doing the screen recording without the web drivers enabled. So there's two more important things that we need to do. So let's open up multi -bees first. So let's go ahead and go to multi -bees. And for my motherboard, it's such a rare motherboard, I don't really need anything other than the network. After us, get the latest one. And then go over to the bootloader. And as you can see, mine is a lot newer. That's why I like to do the Clover install manually because you can always get the latest one. But the other thing we need to do is check on the NVIDIA web drivers boot flag, which I found that, that it doesn't work so well with multi -bees. I don't know why I couldn't get NVIDIA web drivers to work using multi -bees. I had to do it again manually, but I'm gonna show you that next. But go ahead and check it just in case. And this time we're not gonna inject the NVIDIA card, so don't check inject NVIDIA. So use the web drivers. 
go to system definition and this is the second most important thing you can do is your system definition so either check on the iMac the 14-1 or the 14-2 whichever one will do right now I'm doing 14-1 but it doesn't matter I done 14-2 and it I didn't see any effect on it well and that's about it once you build it you should have just what you need internet working get your def system definitions going to help you uh, get all the different parts working properly and that's about it nvidia web drivers and go ahead and install to your main disk and after you finish installing let's go ahead and quit we need to open our clover configurator now this is the way i got my nvidia web drivers to work is go ahead and you must mount the fe so you need to mount the fe partition and open up in the EFI, I don't know why I keep calling it EFI, but the EFI partition, go ahead and open up the disk, go to the EFI folder, Clover, and open the config P list. And I actually left everything just the way it was, just left and normal. The only changes I did was, of course, the default boot volume. I wanted to boot into my system automatically. I set it just for two seconds, uh, timeout for two seconds because I don't need to do any settings i just want to boot straight into my os and everything else i just left as it is and here it is on the system perimeters right at the bottom you want to make sure you inject the nvidia web and after you do that you go ahead and save it into your clover file here and once that's saved you'll be safe to reboot you're going to have your NVIDIA web drivers installed so you'll be able to do screen recordings like I'm doing right now and that's about it that's all you gotta do now as far as um, Wi-Fi and sound I just went to Amazon got the cheapest USB dongles that you could find and they are working perfectly all right so guys I'm gonna show really quick the two things that I ordered from Amazon is this cheap uh, easy technology they have different brands or versions of this they have that i trust usb audio interface i don't know but they all work you just gotta make sure it says that it's mac os compatible and you should be good to go and this one specifically actually had drivers that we can install with so i knew it was gonna work with my mac and the other thing you i got for my wi-fi is i got this no brand actually it's a one like <laughs> no brand wi-fi usb dongle that costs about 15 dollars including shipping and this also included a cd rom with the drivers for mac os and it even supports mac os sierra so that's something you want to keep in mind before purchasing so that way you don't have to deal with the return thing and that's about it so now i got a fully working hacking touch and that's how you get it going i hope this tutorial helped out anybody out there. if you all have any questions let me know down in the comments down below uh yeah i'll be seeing you guys on the next one on my next videos i'll be going back to my photography because i've been working a lot on cameras i got a couple new lenses that i want to talk about i want to review thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one peace